Hello Aquarius and welcome to your new moon lunar cycle insight video for the lunar cycle of the new moon in your sign. So happy birthday to you Aquarius if you haven't had your birthday yet. Um, I hope that this year has got off to a exciting start for you and this is your moment of cosmic rebirth. The annual new moon in Aquarius is your opportunity to let go of the old and renew and reinvent yourself. So of course, the intentions that you set at this time are especially important. So it's a good idea for you to create a sacred space, maybe have a little ritual or a little ceremony and really reflect on how you wish your life to manifest, what your big visions are for the coming cycle. And this is really beautiful for you Aquarius because the last lunations we've had in your sign have been eclipses. We're just coming out of the eclipse tunnel now where we had that powerful full moon eclipse in your opposite sign back on the 21st of January. So this really is like a powerful new beginning for you. And you are one of the signs that had a very, very hard time last year with Mars retrograde, Scorpio retrograde, um, the Uranian energies. They were, as I've said before, they were very... Um, very much personally affecting you and the key areas of your life. So this is your time to re-envision your life now. So you who are so good at seeing the bigger picture, Aquarius, think about what is the highest vision you have for your life. If you look into your future, 12 months down the line, what would you like your reality to look like? And start to work towards that. Now is the time to refine your goals, your ideas, your inspirations. Because we have all planets moving direct for this lunar cycle until we have our first Mercury retrograde around the time of the next new moon in Pisces in early March. So it's all systems go. So this for you is a moment of cosmic opportunity. So we begin the month with the new moon in your sign and also Mercury in your sign. He's been moving through Aquarius the past few weeks too, making conjunctions with the sun and, you know, perhaps giving you some downloads, perhaps bringing in some fresh vision, some, you know, exciting ideas as well. And on the 10th of March, he is going to move into your second house, the Pisces house of your birth chart. And he will be joined by the sun there as well on the 18th of February. So the second house is the house of our chart where we are dealing with our tangible material resources, our financial resources, and also our time, our energy, our gifts, our talents, our creativity. So this is a time when there may be a focus on these areas of your life. And it's important to see what is arising up at this time because Mercury, like I say, is going to go retrograde here throughout March. So a lot of the things that are put in motion will come up for revaluation. But we're also looking at here um, your relationship to money and how much you feel like you are worthy of deserving. Sometimes when we have Pisces on the second house curse or Neptune in the second house, we can be quite frivolous with our money. It doesn't really mean anything to us. And we can therefore have it draining away quite easily. We might be very giving and compassionate with our time and energy and resources. So this can be a time, particularly when Mercury goes retrograde, when we're looking at some having some boundaries in these areas. But it's important for now to just pick the threads of what is arising in your consciousness 
around the areas of finances and values, this can also be a time of looking at who, what your core values are, what is valuable to you. And of course, what is valuable to us is where we expend our time, energy and resources. <laughs> so it's the interesting interweaving that happens in this space of the chart and as has been the theme recently as soon as the sun goes into Pisces a couple of hours later we have a full moon in Virgo the opposite sign so another um, moon in the early degrees of a sign another initiatory moon another super moon and in general this is a moon that is falling on the healing axis and the axis of purification um, on a mental, physical and emotional and spiritual level and it will fall in your 8th house opposite the Sun and Mercury in Pisces. So the 8th house is very much again connected with shared resources. It's the Scorpio place of the birth chart. It's where our energy intertwines with the energy of another so we can be looking at things really rising up from the depths of the subconscious to be cleansed around the time of this moon for you, Aquarius. The eighth house is the house of deep soul transformation. It's the underworld space of the birth chart. So we can have a lot of old feelings, a lot of old emotions rising up to be purified, to be detoxed. Perhaps there will be issues around self-worth that are coming up, you know issues around how worthy you feel of receiving um, financial prosperity, intimacy, and how much you are open to receiving those gifts from the cosmos, from the universe. And we can really look at maybe doing some shadow work around this time as well, Aquarius. The twelfth house tends to bring us face to face with the things that we um, don't generally want to look at, the things that we might sweep um, under the rug, into the corners of the psyche. So it's a powerful time and it can, you know, perhaps make you feel a little bit more emotional than usual, a little bit more unsteady than usual. But really we're clearing out the old in order to structure the new. So take a good look at what's going on for you internally and how that is affecting your ability to um, create security and stability in your financial and emotional life as well, Aquarius. And this new moon is very significant because, a uh, full moon, sorry, is very significant because around the same time as it rises, we have Chiron, the wounded healer changing signs. Um, he's going to be coming into Aries for the first time since the 1960s. He hasn't been here for over 50 years. Um, apart from a, a slight sojourn last year, he was in Aries between April and September 2018 as well. But in general, he spent seven years in the sign of Pisces in your second house. So we can see the energies of this month are giving you the opportunity to clear up the lessons that he has been trying to teach you in these areas of knowing that you are worthy of receiving. So as he shifts signs, we feel the lessons of the next cycle emerging. When a planet changes signs, we tend to get a bit of a foreshadowing of what's gonna happen during his transit there. And Chiron's gonna be in Aries for seven years till 2027. And he is going to be moving through your third house. So this is the throat chakra house of the birth chart, the space of communication, of connection. It's a fellow airy space for you, Aquarius. And Chiron in Aries is all about claiming our power back, claiming our right to express ourselves in a unique and individual way, which of course Aries is very skilled at. So when he comes into the third house, we are activating the healing power of our voice. We are recognizing the wisdom of our words. We are knowing that we 
deserve to be heard. You know, we deserve to be able to speak our truth and have it heard and listened to. We may find ourselves being called towards sharing our experiences, sharing our emotions, sharing our teachings in ways that help other people to claim their power back. We might be becoming more vulnerable, more open with our methods of self-expression. And it's a very deeply healing transit because the throat chakra, the space of expression, is one of the most important healing tools that we have. By expressing emotion, we release it from the body. And that is what Chiron and Aries is going to be helping you do to own the power of your voice over the next couple of, well, the next seven years. Um, and it may, because Chiron is the wounding healer, he, the wounded healer, he can also, you know, bring up any barriers or blockages or resistances that we have to really doing that. So it's knowing and claiming that ability to know what you have to say, the words you have to share, deserve to be heard for you, Aquarius. So that is an, a long ongoing transit that will be unfolding for you. Um, but just bearing in mind that that is where a lot of the um, healing energy is going to come through over the next couple of weeks, moving from that second house of self-worth, resources, finances into that third house of authentic expression. So I'm going to pick a card for you to bring closure to this reading, Aquarius. And these are the sacred rebels, which often come out for these videos, especially when I'm talking about Uranian or Aquarian energy. You know that I love you guys and I love your rebellious nature. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick a card for you. Interesting. So this is releasing allegiances and this may be something that happens to you around the time of this moon as well and during this lunar cycle because you are the sign of conscious connection, of conscious community, of networking, of friendships and as you are rebirthing yourself and evolving this month you may find that there are some old attachments that you have to let go of. You are changing and shifting so much Aquarius and some of the relationships that you have, some of the connections that you have might be keeping you locked in the old expression of self. So this can be a time when we have to let go of the old in order to, um, to experience the new. And with so much going on in your second house, you can be really noticing where your relationships are not equal and not balanced, where you may be giving way more than you are receiving. Like I said, lacking that ability to draw um, boundaries on your time and energy and on your resources. So just be aware that all relationships go through cycles, all relationships shift and change, you know, and you as the great cosmic networker will always draw to you the people that you really need. So don't be afraid to let go if you have to. Thank you so much for listening to me, Aquarius. If you would like to connect with me further, you can check the links below the video. Happy Invoke, happy new moon in your sign and so much love to you.